Hi, I am Harish Gurdetti. I am the founder of Easy B Systems. We are a technology consulting firm. I help small businesses scale with the help of technology. I took my high paying job in the US and came back to India to start my own business in 2019. I chose to serve small business owners because they work very hard, work long hours, but they don't get the, the results they deserve. And I am going to change all of that. I am going to help build the systems and automation required for the small business owners to take them to the whole new level so that they can stop owning a job and start owning a business. In today's video, as I said, CRM is probably the most important piece of technology that every professional practice must use to if you have any ambition or if you have any goals to grow your professional practice to a next level you definitely need to know how to use a crm in your professional practice so let's get started well, let's see how to use a crm in a professional practice as i mentioned but first let me focus on the results that we plan to achieve by using a crm um, in your professional practice the first thing is we want to generate more revenue obviously that's what that's the goal of every business right the second thing if you implement what i share in this uh, in this video uh, you'll be able to reduce your delivery times and finally there is a third result that we want to achieve from this um, strategy or from this plan is improve client satisfaction so these are the results that you will achieve once you go ahead and implement what i'm going to share with you today so let's get started. The first thing that you want to do with the CRM is you want you have to go ahead and implement something called client segmentation. Not all your clients are equal. Uh, you need to divide your time and uh, your employees time across the clients. Segmenting clients into tiers will give you a clarity on where you need to spend your marketing budget, campaigns, uh, your meeting time, um, etc. And Tiering clients will also help you create offers specific to your clients so that it helps in a lot of different ways but here's how you do it. Tier A clients are your highest paying clients and highest potential growth potential. What I mean by that is clients who are growing very fast maybe they're not paying you the highest amount right now but they have you are seeing them grow very fast um, that's tier A. Tier B clients are who gave you most referrals in the past and who regularly engage to your campaigns like emails or whenever you set up an appointment they, they are looking forward to meet you. So these are the loyal, uh, loyal clients uh, and who actually recommend you, who watch for you. And Tier C finally is everyone else. Um, so based on that, once you go ahead and uh, segment your clients, you are going to find new ways to serve them better faster and cheaper and also go ahead and increase revenue from each of these clients so in order to do that you need to load all your existing data or client data first into the systems so that's number one client segmentation so use crm for client segmentation the next thing that we want to do is set up revenue targets and forecast most crms allow you to set revenue targets and assign them to sp assign specific targets to your teams so make sure you leverage this feature because you can't you can't scale you can't grow what you can't measure right so make sure you set that the next thing you want to do is since we loaded all the client data and historical data into the system um, a good CRM will allow you to run something called sales forecasting so you can run forecast based on what you had earned in the past um, and that will help you um, really know where you probably would stand in the next quarter or upcoming quarter so make sure you leverage the sales forecasting feature of the CRM uh, so that you know exactly um, you know what to expect in the um, you know in the coming quarter so that's the second thing that you need to do within the CRM third uh, obviously it's now time to automate so what I mean by that is process automation is the key to growing any business and professional practice is no exception what you need to do is you need to document all your service process like how do you deliver your services and most CRMs allow you to use blueprints, workflows and custom functions. Um, you know, there are different features of the CRM that allow you to automate these processes. 
this step alone if you do it will reduce your service delivery time up to 50 percent i'm not sure which crm you are using or you plan to use but since i am a zoho partner i want to make sure if you use zoho uh, you know this particular activity alone will save you a ton of time um, right so that is really important for you to do um, the next thing that you want to do with your CRM is a telephone integration and electronic documents so integrating your phone system with CRM is the best way to save tens of, tens of hours each month so whatever the calls that go through they get documented uh, yeah it's 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 just you know a, a, a time saving um, hack that you don't want to miss integrate the telephony into the crm the next thing is uh, digitalize all your documents and use electronic signatures uh, to close deals faster and so make sure all your contracts everything are digitalized basically create those templates in the crm and then use them for sending uh, for e-signature rather than doing the paper uh, you know paper trial paper uh, you know, traditional route so that's the next one the last step that you need to do is integrate with other systems you have a very powerful crm and you are you have different things that you are using if you don't integrate and bring them together you're not going to get all the value that you want so first thing is you integrate crm with a help desk software so that you can deliver an outstanding service you know by you know by creating a service delivery system what i mean by that is let's say you're an accounting professional and you are doing it returns uh, for a year so integrate with help desk so that you know all those pro like you know, it returns for each of those your clients open up as tickets so that people who are working really get into a mode of serving clients and more like have a system to see where they are along the process of serving a specific client or specific ticket so that you can measure how the service every time you deliver it to a client and so next thing that you want to integrate with is a scheduling software um, to increase the probability of getting the lead on the call so you may ask for a time on the appointment and they may not be available you go back and forth rather if you have a scheduling software all they do is they schedule a time a block a time on your calendar so that the, the probability of getting deals is will increase significantly the final thing is integrate with an accounting or bookkeeping software so that when you close these deals when your invoices get paid from the crm they get uh, updated automatically so these are the like you know these are the five basic steps or five basic ways that you can use your crm so that you can generate more revenue reduce delivery times and improve client satisfaction i hope this video gave you an insight into where to get started uh, if you are not sure on how to use a crm but uh, yet yeah, i hope i'm sure if you do these things your business will be at a whole new level if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so that you get to learn a lot about uh, you know crm and a lot of other cool technology uh, technology products that you can use to scale your uh, professional practice again go ahead subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications thanks for watching and we'll talk in the next video